On the XP80, it's possible to split the keyboard into up to 16 different sections or zones. Each zone can then control one or more of the patches within the performance. Okay, well, this is known as a keyboard split, and this is how we do it. From the performance play page, we look for key range, and it lines up with F2. So press F2 once, and we see a display showing the active range for each of the first eight parts of the performance. And you'll notice here we have a little index mark, which shows that there is a second page. This shows us parts 9 through to 16, and we can toggle between the two. So for part 1, the active range in this case is from the lowest possible MIDI note, which is C minus 1, up to the maximum, which is G9. But I can reduce this effective range. And the display here shows a black line representing the effective range. So let's just set up a single split, dividing the two sounds that I have here, which again is my piano and string layer. Let's reduce the range of part one so that it is playable from the bottom of the keyboard to around C4. And there we see the active range for part two. So I've split them somewhere around the middle. Well, I've got maximum of C4 for part one, minimum of C sharp four for part two. But as you hear, at the moment, we're still in layer mode. Well, why is that? You'll notice down here a thing called switch. The actual split is not instigated until we turn the switch on. And once that's been done, we have piano in the bottom part of the keyboard, strings in the top. This is a really, really handy feature. As you can imagine, live, you could split bass, piano, bass, brass. Works really well with a sort of bass, brass sound. So we've, we've layered two patches within a performance, and we've split the keyboard in the performance. Don't forget, of course, name the performance and store it in the user memory. And when we're in performance mode, we store into performance user memory locations.